it's Donna from Donna Gills Designs and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made the smoke effect tumbler. My husband and my son are both linemen so I made this cup for my husband. Well it didn't start out that way you guys. Once he saw me doing the smoke effect he wanted it so there you go. Anyhow everything is in today's video will of course be linked down in the description below for you guys along with the links to my social media, my website, and the link to my new mentorship group which popping up in a second you'll see some of the benefits here so if you want to check that out so let's go ahead and get started so what I did is I to start out I prepped my cup which just means I sanded it with a sanding block sprayed it down with rubbing alcohol and wiped it down with a paper towel I then spray painted it with flat white from Australium 2x and let that completely dry before getting started so I just have a candle burning here and I have a butter knife over that over that um, flame which is causing the smoke and that's how I'm getting the smoke onto my tumbler now notice I'm never leaving my tumbler in one spot because you do not want your tumbler to get too hot so I am constantly moving it up and down turning it around and I will just keep doing this same thing until I get my desired effect. So if you want less smoke, hold your tumbler higher. If you want a darker smoke, hold it more close to the flame, but not too close because you don't want to burn your cup. And just please make sure that you are using um, safety when using this since you are working with an open flame. I have seen some people use the painter's tape over the candle to that. I just don't like that method. I prefer this method. I think it's safer for me at least anyhow. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to spray seal it and then I'm going to put a coat of epoxy on and then we will be ready to put our decal. So for this one, I have a decal on one side and a water slide on the other side. So let's get that cured up and then we'll be ready to move on to our next step. So here is after I put the acrylic epoxy, I did not need to sand at all for this one. Um, and then I'm just using my little cup cradle here. Uh, and because I just like to use this because it keeps my cup kind of at a slant when I'm going to put my decal on. Um, it just is real easy for me. Um, so I'm putting my transfer tape over my decal here using the squeegee just to smooth it all out. And then I'm going to remove um, that backing paper off. And then just, you know, take your time removing it. I mean, there's no intricate cuts here, so no worries there. Um, so I'm going ahead and I'm just really going to eyeball it, guys. I'm going to put... Um, First apply that transfer tape in the middle and then go in an outward motion there and then using the felt side of my squeegee to kind of smooth it down before removing that transfer tape. Now once I get that transfer tape off, I'm going to just kind of rub, you know, through the um, decal just to make sure there's no bubbles or any wrinkling or anything like that. I did notice that I missed two little spots um, when I weeded this out. So I'm just going to do that right on the cup. And you can do that if you have any kind of intricate um, designs. If it's hard to we do it right on the cup. I've done that many times before. So on the other side, because I feel like the, the lineman decal just left the cup a little bare on the other side. So I decided to do a water side because I really didn't feel like cutting this out with um, vinyl. So I just soaked it in uh, when I when I print cut when I printed the vinyl on water slide paper, I spray sealed it three times with Rust-Oleum 2X Glossy Clear. Let that dry in between each coat before doing this, and I let that dry for a little bit. And then I just put it in water until it easily comes off that backing paper. I hold it with the my left thumb on the left side while I pull the backing paper off with the right side. And then um, I did make sure um, I wet my cup on this side before I applied this water slide. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to take that squeegee and just squeegee out any water, make sure there's no wrinkling or anything like that. And I like to dab it with a paper towel. Don't rub it with a paper towel because you'll move your water slide since it's not dry yet. I put another coat of epoxy on this and this one was done. So I want to thank you so much for watching today's tutorial, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.